Well, I know that uh, a lot of people got an impression that, um, you know, when you bounce from cash money, that it wasn't, it was like uh, mid, uh, money problems. So did you settle all that out? We ain't gonna never be settled. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because you gotta look at it. That's the house that fresh built. You know what I'm saying? It's real. So we're not gonna never be settled on that. But I'm not somebody who's gonna hold a grudge either. Like, you know, I'm gonna move on in life. And it doesn't take, you know, a zillion dollars for me to be happy. If I'm comfortable, my family is healthy, I'm good. That's what's, that's what's important to me. So, uh, if, if people, when people hear Manny Fresh name, and they think, okay, you know, that's the dude that built Cash Money, do you think that they're missing the bigger picture? Well, I mean, you gotta look at it too. I, I mean, I know this, but it doesn't really bother me. Manny Fresh is underrated, you know what I'm saying? A lot of cats don't know everything that I've done. You know what I'm saying? And all the songs that I've done, you know, they just might say, well, you know, I know him, he affiliated with certain cats or whatever. They won't see it as, well, damn, he did all those albums that he did, you know, such and such. So it's really the quality of how you live your life that's important to you. So, you know, I'm, 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 believe me, recognition is cool, but if I don't get it, I'm also cool. You know what I'm saying? Life gonna go on. But when you mention Manny, like, I, I most more than anything, honest businessman. That's what I would want more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Honest businessman. You think you're gonna get back on the mic? Uh, it could possibly happen. I have my moments, you know, I have my nights in the studio where I go off, like, you know, and it's incredible to a lot of people because they just like, damn, like, wow, like, you know, and to hear somebody say, like, we can't put that out because that's just way too crazy for right now. You know what I'm saying? That's that yeah, like, it's like, that's just way too crazy for right now. That just kind of shows me that, like, I'm like, wow, we live in a different time. Like, everybody want to, you know, be apologetic for what they're saying or whatever. And, and what I mean by my content, a lot of times, is not the whole man fresh. My content, a lot of times, is how I feel about the world and, you know, how something was mistreated, but I just said it in my man, how I wanted to say it. You know what I'm saying? If I felt like saying fuck somebody, I said fuck them, like, you know. And a lot of people are like, nah, you gotta tiptoe around it, you can't say that. And I'm like, well, why can't you? Like, you know what I'm saying? If, that's my opinion. It ain't the world. Like, you ain't gotta agree with me. If you don't like it, don't buy it. If you love it, hey, rock with me. For sure. Now, do you, uh, are you into the radio at all? Do you listen to pop music or anything like that? I, dude, I still listen to the radio, but radio is not really my friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just shit. It's some shit to do. That's all I like to say. I, I, I actually really like pop songs way more than I like hip hop. Really, really. I like pop songs way more than I like hip hop. Because I think like a lot of pop artists, you know, they doing different things. They saying different shit. You know what I'm saying? They experiment doing things. Like what happened to hip hop? Hip hop had the good, the bad, the bling, and all that. At one point, we had Slick Rick, who was the storyteller. We had P.E. that was, you know, pro black. We had Cash Money that was like bling, or whatever. We all had that shit now. Now it's all about the sell crack and bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, how long can we do that shit? As long as crack can be made. <laughs> keep it that shit. But, I, you know, hip hop was a teacher to you. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Like, it taught you certain things. Like, you know, survival tactics. Now it's all get money, get money. That's the message. That's the only thing hip hop is telling you now. Get money. But you gotta, uh, you gotta take some responsibility for that. Though. That's what I mean by we need some cats to go left, like somebody that's daring enough to do some different shit to say like, you know what, like this is what I'm real and this is what I believe in. I'm not gonna apologize for it. I'm just gonna say it. So with the, uh, with like the lack of promotion of like, uh, you know, like different people come from different angles. Who do you, who do you think whose, whose hands is that? In? You know, is it the fans? Is it the labels? Is it what? Part of it is this generation, truthfully, because it's like. You know, if, if somebody put the ball in your hand and you slip, you know what I'm saying? And what I mean by with this generation, how they handling their business, what they charging for tracks, what they charging for a lot of things like fucked up the whole game. You know what I'm saying? But what I mean by okay, if a record company need, I guess, a track now these days, they could pretty much buy it from under you and get your name and everything. Like you sell all that shit, your rights and all that. For like 200 to 300 dollars, that just screwed up the whole game. And, and I mean, and you, you got to look at why it went that way. It went left because I mean, you, you put somebody in charge and they took shots. By taking shots, you fucked yourself. You know? 